Hey guys, I'm doing another roundup video today. I have purchased some new lipsticks. Some of them are new releases, some of them not quite so new, but they're new to me. So I thought I would just do this one video and kind of talk about all of the different lippies that I've purchased over the past, I don't know, couple of weeks? couple of weeks to a month. So let's go ahead and start with a new release. I talked about these on my live stream because they had just arrived when I started my live stream. So I wanted to show you guys and we were talking about new releases. Anyway, this is the Clay de Peau Radiant Liquid Rouge and they've come out with matte colors and shine colors. So I thought I would talk about these and compare them to their older Radiant Liquid Rouge, which I believe these are basically like a reformulated version of that. At least the shine ones are reformulated versions of these. Let's start with the matte one. So I purchased one of the matte colors and this is in 101 Cream Crush. And I just want to mention that this packaging is, it's beautiful and it's also very, very weighty. This is glass and for the matte ones, this is a frosted glass. So just to compare to the old Radiant Liquid Rouge, they're a little bit uh, taller and then there is like this gold you know, piece at the top of the cap. There's also quite a bit more product in here. The old ones have five and a half mils and this has eight mils. I have some lip gloss on. Let me just take that off and then we can go ahead and swatch all of these lippies. So again, we're gonna start with 101 Cream Crush, which is in the matte finish. And when I swatched these, they kind of reminded me of the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestros. They have like a moussey kind of texture. So comfortable. They really feel like, like a lip oil. Oh my God, it's amazing. But that finish is totally matte. Definitely not transfer proof. What an interesting formula. I feel like if I did like a blindfold test with this, I would, I would think it was a lip oil. I would not think that this was a matte lipstick in any way. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad I got one color to try, but I think I would want maybe like a deep red in this finish. I think that would be really, really chic. So again, this is 101 Cream Crush in the matte finish. All right, next up, I got two of the shine finishes. I got one sepia and color 509 Orange Crush. 509 Orange Crush is a limited edition color. I believe there's one other limited edition color um, that's out for, I guess, this release and maybe for the summertime. Um, so I picked up one of each. So let's take a look at these. So the packaging is pretty much the same as the matte, except that these are not frosted, which is awesome. That is such a great idea. And again, bigger than the old Radiant Liquid Rouge. So the one thing I did notice also when I swatched it, these older Radiant Liquid Rouges, they were much thinner in texture. They sat really nicely on the lips, but they were almost like this tinted um, oil. Uh, these are much thicker. So let me go ahead and put on the color sepia. So there is sepia. This has that slight clay de peau rose scent. I don't feel like I smelled it with the matte. Hang on one second. That's strange. I don't smell it with the matte at all, but I do smell it in the shine. So the shine formula has a little bit of like a rose scent to it. This formula is so awesome. It's kind of like just the slightest bit sticky, but it feels like it's sticking to my lips more than it being actually kind of sticky, like it's really staying put. So as I was letting this kind of sit on my lips, I was kind of thinking that they reminded me of something else. And it's the Tom Ford uh, Lip Lacquer Luxes in the vinyl. So I did a quick little swatch and I was reminded that the Tom Ford Lip Lacquer Lux vinyl finish is, it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit denser. It's hey. just, it's denser than the Clay de Peau. The Clay de Peau is definitely a lot lighter on the lips, but this formula is actually really unique and it'll make sense if you get a chance to like actually do some lip swatches, but it feels sticky to my lips, but it doesn't feel sticky otherwise. Like a little bit, but it's not like my lips are totally sticking together, but it really, it's like when I try and mush it around, it's really kind of like stuck to my lips, which is pretty amazing. That makes me think that they're gonna be pretty long lasting for something that kind of has the texture of lip gloss, but that is awesome. So this is the color sepia, and I do wanna mention that online, this color looked a lot more beigey and neutral, and in real life, it's much more peach which is okay. It's just not what I was expecting. And I would actually love something that was a little bit more 
brown. I think that would look so pretty on the lips. Let me take this off and we'll try on that orange crush. So here is orange crush and we'll do a close up swatch here for you. And now let me go ahead and apply this to my lips. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I really like this formula. It's really easy to put on. And the one uh, complaint I had about these was I thought they were really comfortable. I thought they were really beautiful. After a while, because I don't, I don't think I noticed this when I first got these and first was wearing them, but it felt like all of a sudden they were starting to bleed. And I don't generally have that problem with a lot of lipstick. And when I put on a lip liner, it seemed to take care of it or whatever, but it was just weird how I felt like it kind of morphed. So I felt like these got really thin and these are much thinner than this new shine formula. And this formula, I mean, this stays put. This is not going anywhere. There's definitely no bleeding. And that's really, really important, I think, especially with the, the brighter, deeper kind of red colors. You just don't want the bleeding. It's so, it's just not a good look. So I really like this new formulation. I think they did a really good job on improving this um, older version of it. And now they have two finishes, shine and matte. So those are the new Clé de Peau Radiant Liquid Rouges. Big, big thumbs up so far. All right, next up I picked up some Chanel lippies. I picked up one gloss and then two uh, flashes. One is not a new color, it's number 82 Live. And I think this came out with like the initial release of these flashes, but I really, really liked it. I was at the counter kind of playing around with a bunch of them. So I thought I would pick that up. And then I also picked up number 84. I'm not going to attempt the name there, but it's number 84. And this one, I believe, came out with the Cruise Collection. Now, I think one of you actually commented uh, when I did the cru Cruise Collection video, um, you said, are, are you going to get the new lippies? And I was like, new lippies? And I went onto the site and I saw the flashes, you know, and I saw, I think, some of the glosses. And I thought, I don't see any new lippies. I'm like, I pretty much got, I thought what was part of the cruise collection. But what I didn't realize is that it looks like they released some colors with the cruise collection. And I believe these are limited edition. So again, this is number 84. So here is a close up of 84. And here is a swatch of 84. So it has that flash finish. It's uh, on the sheer side. It's a very, very emollient and emollient looking. Uh, but let me go ahead and do a lip swatch of this. So there is immediate, and I really liked this because all the other colors I have are a little bit more neutral, a little bit, maybe even a little bit on the cooler side, like I have chicness and I have boy. Um, this one is much more peachy, so I thought this would be really nice for uh, the warmer months. And then let me go ahead and show you live. So this is number 82, and I don't believe this was a new color or anything uh, special. It was just part of the regular display. Um, but this one has a little bit of shimmer to it, and it's a bit more of a rosy color. And here's a swatch of that. I really like the pretty sheen that it has. And let me go ahead and lip swatch that. So this is definitely more of like a pinky rose color, and I hope you can see like the little bit of sheen that it has. And not just the sheen from the formula of it being very emollient. This one actually has like a little bit of something something in there it's not glitter or anything but just a little bit more of like a satin finish to it and of course i had to pick up a gloss this is color 822 aurora and this i believe was also part of the cruise collection and could be limited edition as well you guys have probably seen the like aqua blue a uh, lip gloss that has come out from Chanel for, I believe, Cruise. And this is the one that was kind of next to it. So this is, it's almost like a neon orange. Like if you shine light through it, you kind of see like the pink in it, but it's really pretty in the tube. Same with that aqua blue one. I just didn't get the aqua blue one because it actually doesn't, it doesn't do much on the lips. It's almost clear. This one had a little bit more oomph to it. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you. It is virtually sheer, but there's just a little hint of that like orangey pink there. And I just thought it was so, so pretty. So anyway, that is the Rouge Coco gloss that I picked up. All right, next up, I actually picked up another Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2, 
and I got it in the color Dance Floor Princess. One was that I really wanted this color, and two, this was like the one um, outer case that I didn't have. It's this Red Leopard print, so that definitely tempted me as well. So I am really enjoying this collection. I think I'm enjoying this one more than her first Hot Lips collection, and I feel like this kissing formula is an improvement. I don't know if they've changed the formula at all. I don't know if it's maybe because my kissing lipsticks are a little bit older, you know, and they start to dry out or whatever. Um, I'm trying to remember back to when I first got the kissing formula and I remember really liking it and remember thinking it was really creamy, but I don't feel like I was as bowled over with it as I am now. So anyway, I've just been loving this Hot Lips 2 collection. And so I decided to pick up this dance floor princess color. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you. All right, so there is Dance Floor Princess, and I didn't originally order this color because I thought it was gonna be a little bit too light for me, and it's definitely on the lighter side from what I'm used to, at least in the pink realm. I feel like if I go this light, like the JK Magic, when it's kind of on the beigeier side, I feel a little bit more comfortable with it, but I really liked it when I tried it on, and I actually had no makeup on when I tried it on, and it was nice, like it just gave me a little bit of a pick-me-up in the lip area. So I really enjoy this color. It's, it's kind of surprising for me, but I really like it. And again, the formula, it's just, it's so comfortable. I really feel like they maybe tweaked it a little bit. Okay, and last but certainly not least, I have a bunch of these Bond number no. 9 <laughs> lipsticks. Uh, they originally came out with nine red shades, and I got a really bright red. I really love it, but I just don't wear bright reds that often. So they released nudes, and I fell in love. So I went to Saks, and I got two, and then I went back and got two more. So... Let's take a look at what I have. So the first one I got is Grand Mercy Park. And I'm gonna swatch these all next to one another because I think in the tube, like I was even confusing myself when I was at the store and looking at them all at the same time. But once you start swatching them and once you actually start trying them on, the difference in tones becomes a little bit more obvious. So this one is Grand Mercy Park. And if you guys are not familiar with Bond Number no. 9 lipsticks, they come in this crazy, crazy packaging. So you can buy this packaging with the lipstick. Um, you can buy just the refill, because these are refillable. You can buy just the refill, and this comes in like a white case. I think it's like a hard white cardboard case. So you can use it like that, but it's, it's not, obviously, it's not quite as sturdy as this. Or you can get a set, which is basically this, you know, with the lipstick, and then it comes with like an extra refill. All right, so let's start with Gramercy Park. So there is Grand Mercy Park. I love this formula. There's something really interesting about this formula. Like when you put it on, I feel like it almost feels a little bit sticky, but then, you know, once it kind of settles down and when you press your lips together, there's absolutely no stickiness whatsoever. And like they're weightless on the lips. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything on my lips. It's so, so strange because it has a lot of pigment. And when you put it on, you can like feel it going on because of that kind of sticky drag to it. But then all of a sudden it's like completely weightless. It's such an interesting formula and I love these. So all of these are cream formula and they've lasted through a meal for me. They just feel really weightless, like almost like I don't have any lipstick on. It's so strange. Again, considering like how much pigment there is, but these are really amazing. And I don't feel like the red one feels like these nudes. I feel like, I don't know if the formula is different or I think with different colors, you kind of have to tweak it a little bit, but these nudes, I am like madly in love with. The red is really beautiful, but it doesn't have like quite this special of a feeling on the lips. So anyway, that is Gramercy Park. All right, next up I have Madison Square Park. And this one is just a little bit like pinkier, peachier than the Gramercy Park. But let me go ahead and do a lip swatch. So there is Madison Square Park. And I should mention, it's definitely worth noting, uh, especially because this is from Bond Number no. 9, that there's absolutely no fragrance to these lipsticks, nothing. No makeup smell, no added fragrance, nothing. So that is Madison Square Park, which again, I feel like is just a little bit brighter than Grand Mercy Park. So these are the two that I went back to purchase. I have not opened them since I got them home, but let me just show you the packaging while we're here. So it comes in this really beautiful box and this outer sleeve comes off. And then this is like a magnetized 
little medallion there and this whole lid is magnetized and then there's just like an information card these are vegan gluten free and cruelty free and then they're sitting in this box like this so let me pull this one out this one is central park oh i should also mention that these cases like they're magnetized but i feel like there's also like this air pressure release going on uh, they're just they're really interesting uh so anyway this one is central park this one is like a deeper richer nude All right let me go ahead and apply this all right there is central park isn't that just such a beautiful rich kind of like caramelly burnt sugar kind of color. Just love it. So that is Central Park. All right, and last up is Hudson Yards. This one I think is definitely the lightest one that I got and it is pretty neutral. It's maybe a little bit on the cooler side. Uh, let me go ahead and just lip swatch it for you. So there is Hudson Yards. There's like a bit of pink going on in there. It's like a beigey pink color. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So I bet many of you are gonna ask me to compare this to the Charlotte Tilbury um, lipsticks. The Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks feel like a very, you know, well-moisturized cream lipstick. I don't wanna say there isn't anything like special about it, but they're very moisturizing, they're very pigmented, they feel great on the lips. I love them. But the Bond Number no. 9 is so interesting because it really feels like you're putting on something really thick when you first apply it. It feels like, like I said, like there's quite a bit of drag there. But as soon as it starts to settle down on the lips, it's completely weightless. They definitely have a better longevity to them than the Charlotte Tilbury. Like these stay on through a meal. You know, maybe you could do a little bit of a touch up. It's not like they're a liquid lipstick, um, but these are kind of more of a typical cream lipstick where like most of it will be gone, especially like in the center of your lips, like most of it will be gone. These really kind of hang on. So there's definitely a better longevity with the Bond Number no. 9. And I just feel like the formula is just, it's very, very unique. I've never really felt anything quite like this. And if I were to compare these to the Pat McGrath, the Pat McGrath is sort of like an amped up version of the Charlotte Tilbury. There's like a thickness to the Pat McGrath Lux Trans lipsticks, where again, these go on almost like a stickier version of that, but then all of a sudden, weightless. All of a sudden it really feels like you don't even have lipstick on. Just so, so interesting. If any of you guys have tried the nude lipsticks, because again, I don't feel like I had quite this experience with the red one, but if any of you purchased the Bond Number no. 9 nude lipsticks, let me know what your experience is with them. Let me know if you think the formula is unique or if you feel like there's another lipstick out there that is similar because I've never experienced anything like this. So that is it for this roundup video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions or anything down below in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.